Hello everyone, it's me again Shikin. Welcome back to episode 8 of Minecraft Show. For those who haven't watched the previous episode, you can find the link at the description. In this episode, we will be discussing on the supply chain and the importance of the recirculating aquaculture system technology. Let me first explain how the mud crab supply chain. Generally, the supply of mud crab can come from the wild or hatchery. For wild cash, it will involve a chain of farmer, first trader, importer or exporter, distributor, restaurant and only it will reach the end consumer. While for hatchery, it will not involve farmer. This chain can take several weeks before it reaches the end consumer. This might be mainly due to transportation time. You might also wonder why the crab price is considered as expensive. You can probably guess from this supply chain. You can get a much cheaper price if you deal directly with the farmer. But it's not as easy as dealing with fish farmer. You will rarely find a farmer who focus mainly on catching the mud crab. This supply chain might seem smooth and easy, but it's not. Mortality is a great issue when doing the mud crab business. Also, due to long transportation time, your full meat crab might turn into a water crab or less meat crab. It because the crab does not fit during the transportation or holding period. How recirculating aquaculture system will help in this business? It is an important technology to apply especially during the holding period. Although the mud crab can still survive without water for a few days, putting them in clear water can help them recover from the transportation process. This rust holding system can be decentralized and able to relocate anywhere. Meaning, your facility does not necessarily to be near the coastal area. You might always hear of discharging water from agriculture activity to the river and sea. However, you can make this different by making your sea water. Check our other video to learn about making the sea water. By doing so, you don't have to keep discharging the water as long as you have stable rust technology with proper maintenance. Having a good holding system using the rust technology also help you to have a direct business to customer marketing. In my opinion, it would be great if the customer was able to see and choose the crab themselves from the facilities. Sometimes, Buying the crab from the wet market does not guarantee their freshness and quality. You will also see the customer take a long time to choose their crab. Displaying your crab inside the holding tank with a proper rust technology should be able to fulfill the customer satisfaction. Some people say that wild cash might crab taste better than the one from farming activity. As far as we can tell, they make no difference in taste. It's just the different species of my crab will have different mixed texture and taste. Currently, our supply chain are impacted as COVID-19 is forcing countries to shut off their borders. The potential impact on the sector depends on the culture species, storage method and consumer preference. For my crab, the consumer would require the crab to be alive and well before consumption. Mud crab importers have seen a 30 to 50% drop in mud crab sales over the past month. Hence, many of these importers have chosen to reduce the number of trades to avoid accumulating inventory. It is crucial to point out that mud crab are also extremely perishable. Nevertheless, Many restaurants have also taken the opportunity to utilize current food delivery to continue operation. However, 
It remains early to speculate the impact of food delivery service on mud crab as mud crab are usually consumed in large gatherings. The rise of urban farms in the last few years has reduced the reliance on food from other countries or locations. The ability to farm right next to consumers reduce the risk for supply chain disruption and ensure that the consumers still have access to crucial supplies. The same is observed in the mud crab traders, importers or traders that previously invested in recirculating aquaculture system have enabled them to increase the shelf life of mud crab. Traders integrated with fattening facilities are also able to continue mud crab production, sustaining business that rely on mud crab as their signature dish. Urban farming method will likely receive attention, especially in countries like Singapore. As you might know, RAS involves several filtration operations to clean the water. Sand filter, from fractionator and ultraviolet filtration. Some might wonder why the mud crab still need clear water despite their natural habitat is a muddy area. In the wild, many natural processes are happening inside the water which provide a sufficient environment for the mud crab. Compared with the culture system, the water has a high potential of toxic compound accumulation. Therefore, the need for toxic component removal is crucial. To build your system, you need to understand what your business aim. If you are aiming for a fattening culture like us, a vertical system is very recommended because of the cannibalistic behavior of the crab. Besides, if you are planning to build a holding system, a simple rise should be okay. Let's take a look at our holding system here. Here we have a three different separate tank that connected to each other. Here we have a small retention tank where we put our sand and small rock and the small protein skimmer its function to remove the solid efficiently. For the ammonia removal, here we have a tank that we put a biofilter and we supply with enough aeration so the bacteria will convert the ammonia into less toxic compound. We have reached the end of the episode. To recap, in this episode, we already discussed the general idea of mud crab supply chain and how you can play an important part in the supply trade with rice. In the next episode, we will share with you on the challenge with mud crab farming. Don't forget to subscribe to get a notification on the next episode. If you have any question, do drop it at the comment section as we will do a Q&A session at the end of the show. Thanks for watching.